Hi, this is Terry from Tree Marie Soapworks. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make dividers for your soap mold. I first started making dividers with a little help from my friend Helene. She has a channel called Chez Helene. If you want to see her channel, just click the link below. And she said it was all right for me to share it with you. So let's get started. First, I'm going to share with you a list of supplies that you need. First, you need to have a surface to cut on. I have a self-healing mat but you can use a piece of cardboard or something like that. You just wanna protect the surface that you're cutting on. Next, you'll need a sheet of plastic. This plastic is 12 by 24 inches, and I will give you more information in the description. I use a few different kinds of rulers, but really you just need a good straight edge to cut up against. And then you need another one that's going to have smaller divisions, like centimeters, or I have an architect scale, and I'll show you why we need that later. I just use two strips of paper to measure my mold. One of them needs to be just slightly longer than your mold. The other one is just going to be to measure the width and the height of your mold. And you need something to glue on. So you could use newspaper or I just use a piece of paper to protect the surface underneath. Okay, next you will need some disposable gloves for gluing because the glue tends to be a bit messy. And the glue, which is uh, acrylic cement and your scissors and a pipette. That pipette is a three milliliter pipette. When you're using your glue, you're going to need something to stand up your glue in. So you need some kind of a mug or something heavy enough to stand it up in. And you need some packaging tape. This is going to be for making your little tabs to pull your dividers out when you're finished with them. And of course you need your mold and you can use any size of mold because I'm not giving you dimensions. I'm showing you how to fit it to your own mold. And lastly, you need a utility knife with a sharp blade and Two things I forgot to show are some paper towels to wipe your glue and a Sharpie marker with an ultra fine tip. Okay, let's get started in making your dividers. First, you just use one of your little pieces of paper to measure the width of your mold and you use the bottom measurement because that's the smallest between the bottom and the top because these molds are tapered a little bit. So you just use that and then you mark it off on your piece of plastic I use a ruler set up against the edge so you can just get it right to the edge. It's the, the more accurate, the better, and the more squared up your pieces are, the better. When you're making your cuts, when you start, you just barely want to score it. There's a layer of film on each side, so you want to first score the film and then you make a few passes to just score the surface of the plastic and then you can start pushing down a little harder and you'll get through in a few more passes. It's just easier if you make a nice groove for yourself. From this piece we will cut our two end pieces but before that we're going to mark off the divisions. And for this one, I'm making three divisions, so I need a number divisible by three. And it has to be a little bit bigger than that piece down there. So 15 is what I'm going to use, and I'm going to divide that by three. So I, I mark every five. So I put one end on the zero and the other end on the 15, and I mark on the five and the 10. By doing this, you get equal divisions without doing any math. And I'm going to show you on this ruler, you can do it as well. And nine centimeters is just slightly bigger than this. So I can divide it, put the nine on one end and the zero on the other, and just mark off at the three and the six. And I will get the same thing. And if you want more divisions, like say I want seven divisions. So I would just use the 14 on that architect scale and I would just divide by seven and I would get two. So I would mark off every two. And I'm just going to peel off the film on the opposite side that I marked on. So it's all ready to go. And next, I'm just getting a measurement of the depth of the mold. 
and I'm adding a little bit more, probably about a fourth of an inch because I wanted it to be a little higher. But you can use the same measurement or you can add more, whichever you would like. And now all we have to do is mark off one and cut it and then do it again and you'll have your two pieces. Next I put these two pieces into the mold and then I measure the rest of the mold. And now I'm just marking the long way because all of my cuts will need to be the same size. And you can see you can get more than one set of dividers out of this size of a piece of plastic. And now I just check and make sure the size that I just cut is going to work. And then I use the end pieces for templates to cut the rest. And now I'm just peeling back the film on the ends of my dividers so that I can stick them onto the end pieces. Next I get prepared to start the gluing process. This glue is an SCI Grip 16 acrylic cement and I'll give more details in the description below. But I cut off the end of my pipette and I screw it on to my glue. And then I just make sure I have the shiny side up, the one that I already peeled the film off, and I glue on the lines that I can see through from the other side. and I store it in my cup until I'm ready for it for the next time and I line up my lines. Make sure your dividers touch the bottom so that when you're pouring your soap, nothing seeps underneath. Next, you just repeat on the other end. And I just make sure there's no glue on the bottom and I'll just set that in my mold to set up. And when it's done, I'll take it out and I add a little bit more glue, but a word of warning, I just wanna let you know that the more glue you add, the more your end pieces will warp in, which will make your dividers kind of warp as well. 
so just use your glue sparingly. It doesn't really show up as bad when you only have two dividers in here, but the one I did with seven dividers, the end pieces bowed inward. So then the dividers also bowed toward the center. And once you get your soap in, it wouldn't probably matter. I just wanted to let you know, don't use too much glue or it'll do that. And again, I just let it set up in the mold for around 15 minutes or so. And once it's done, I'll just peel all the film off of the dividers. For this size of dividers, I use five inches of tape and then I stick it on there and then for the top part, I just double it up so I can have a little tab to pull it out. And just a quick reminder, I'm going to be guest teaching the soap challenge this month and we're doing a technique called pointy layers and I hope you will join us. And then I just do the other side and you're done. And thank you so much for watching and I hope you find this video helpful. And I hope your dividers turn out well and I can't wait to hear how many divisions you made and how your soap turned out. So if you make some, just tag me in it and I can take a look. Thank you. Have a great day.